With the CAO, we can go from the tree line, the montane, to the submontane, to the lowlands in a day and collect a lot of data. Two terabytes in a day, not bad. Uh, maybe uh, 500,000 acres in a day. And we can add that up. Let me first show you what biodiversity looks like when you fly over. This is the tree canopy flying over. This is taking the, the spectral data, converting it to chemistry, and then to species. Different colors are different species. And we have worked a decade to perfect this capability. And I would say that today, it's not research anymore. It's now operational for us. It's so operational, we can go back to Peru and do look at the whole country. I put here, and this is not to be flippant, I put here for my students that Google Earth is a great tool, but it is an ecological lie by omission because it shows us that, oh, there's this green Amazon there. It's not true at all. Actually, there's this kaleidoscope of different types of ecosystems in that Amazon basin that just looks plain old green. These different colors are where the different communities of species change. Why is there a pattern? We figured it out. It's because of the geology that underlies the Amazon, the elevation, and other factors that have to do with how species interact with one another. 